Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Gay Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, in our last episode, well, we for the last several episodes, we're, we're, we've been in the Western Approach, and we're still in the Western Approach. I think we're starting to wrap things up, because we still only have this area, pretty much, that I'm going to scout out, and then after that, we're going to go back and continue on. So, let's go ahead and close up this rift. Because it's that's a pretty unsightly thing right now, smack in the monotony of the desert. Dragonthorn. I think I need Dragonthorn for something specific. Ah, the page is hatched with level 11 creatures. I'm fine with this. Yeah, you guys might wanna may want to attack my target. Disrupt this rift. Good job, everybody. Way to distract. Round two is coming up. All right. Same thing. Yeah. I think I want Sarah to use up her ability, use her focus ability. Um. Are they bunched up? Here, try this, Sarah. I can hardly see what she- Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That was awesome! It happened really quickly. I'm gonna have to like, watch it again. Watch her in action again. It ma Ooh! And I still have my make marker of the rift. Let's watch... Rampage. He heals with every hit and all that good stuff, which is pretty cool. Nice. Close the rift. Cool. So now we kind of know what those things do. Amazing. I think if I waited till there was tier one, tier two, and tier three, they would last longer. I think these are the t three different tiers. I think. But I just wanted to get a taste for what they did before I started using them for really dire situations. Ooh, it looks like there's a bunch of lazarites and stuff here, which we need for our geological survey. Oh, serpent stone! Yeah, we could use some serpent stones. And are these more serpent stones? Paragon's luster, which we have a lot of. Our next stop is going to be how to lure a dragon, which is going to be... What is this? Something up there all of a sudden. Okay. Paragon Bluster. Serpent Stone. There we go. Oh, jeez. That one's going after that fox. Probably shouldn't disrupt nature, but eh. Withers and dies in a pool of poison. Come on, you bee. Alright. Head for the glowy thing. Wasn't I just there? Oh. There's a bunch of bandity things there. Hey, guys. 
What's up? Nah, I don't want to waste this on them. Ooh, I missed coal. It's okay. Make up your mind, guys. Pick a target. Tv medallion of service. Where are you guys going? Oh. Can't even reach that far. Panic. Sorry. Alpha quillback spines. Huh. The surveyor. This mining equipment has been abandoned for a very long time. Not even the scavengers have disturbed it. Hmm. Okay. Make our way down. Back to the camp. magically appears, as a unicorn does. Okay. Zair's Pass. Researcher. Visitors, thank the maker. Hello. It's been so long since I've spoken to anyone. Have you come to observe the wildlife too? I think I found your supplies. A dead man out in the desert had these on him. Dead? Blessed Andraste. What about Marcus or Jeanette? This is terrible news. I am Frederic of Serrault, former uh. researcher of draconology in Old Lake. I came here with an expedition from the university, but the others are all missing, and our work has been halted. White Claw raiders have made off with much of our supplies. Oh, I... You will help me reclaim the equipment, will you not? You will champion the advancement of science. Uh, well, I already found his, su his supplies, but tell me this place. You're a scholar. What can you tell me about this region? <laughs> the Western Approach is a remarkable place, as you are no doubt aware. Many magnificent creatures make their home here. Vargas, dragons, phoenixes. I didn't notice. They thrive where few others can. The land was poisoned by the second blight. Oh. The warden fortress has stood since that Oh, that was the warden fortress. Before I knew the it. the blight, the ancient Imperium ruled here. Actually, I saw some Tevinters recently. Studying the runes, perhaps. Tell me about yourself. I am a professor at the University of Orlais. I have made it my life's work to write the definitive monograph on the hunting habits of dragons and their closest kin. Interesting. On this trip alone, I have produced 20 scrolls of notes. More scholarship than has ever been done on the Southern Vargas. But my hope, my great ambition, is to observe the abyssal high dragon taking her prey. A sight no scholar has ever recorded. The rest of your team went missing, and there are raiders all over the area. Did you be here alone? I don't know what happened to the rest of the expedition, but the raiders have left me completely undisturbed. Mm. I have also seen grey wardens and strangers in odd black clothing, but they all ignore my presence completely. Grey wardens? Hmm. I have the supplies you were waiting for right here. Now that I have my recipes back, I'll be able to concoct a bait the High Dragon cannot resist. Not right here, I have though. most of what I need. But I still need to gather quillback intestines and a phoenix's tail feather. You study dragons? I'd be interested in hearing more about that. Oh, they are fascinating and little understood creatures. Thought extinct for centuries. Now they seem to be making a comeback. 
The Nevarans wrote extensively on breeding and nesting behavior, but high dragon hunting patterns have never been studied. I would be most interested if you come across any Gurn corpses that might be victims of dragon attacks. One tail feather and one batch of intestines, as requested. My friend, you are invaluable. I will certainly note your assistance in my monograph on the Hydra. That was easy. I will attempt to lure her out as soon as my background research is complete. Mistakes yeah. could be deadly. Yeah, not right now. The ancient Tevinters wrote volumes on the study of dragons. I believe they had a laboratory in this desert. Oh. Well, if only their work had not been lost. Truly, the Blights set the field of draconology back centuries. Deplorable. I also found a man. I found a lot of stuff. Manuscript on dragons in an ancient Tevinter laboratory. Ah, oh, that's right. Would help you. <laughs> what remarkable diagrams! Are these chambers of the draconic heart? Oh, if only I could read the script. Do you perhaps know a linguist or a Tevinter historian? Uh, I don't, but the Inquisition might. I'll speak to our specialists. So I, I'm curious if there was special dialogue if you took Dorian into the Tevinter laboratory. And if you took Blackwall into the uh, Grey Warden Fort, if there is, uh, you guys are, I'm allowing you to let me know if there is special dialogue. So I would love to, uh, I'd love to know about that. We'll have to speak some other time. Nice, that we'll was take easy. The to leave Frederick alone. Frederick's livelihood, quest completed. I love how that guy had three subquests, and we just were like, here, oh, and here, and, and here. <laughs> and there are... There is some sort of... Some sort of... Uh... Oh, here it is, claim. Griffin Wing Monument. In honor of the wings of Adamant, the brave griffins who gave their lives in service to keep the blight at bay. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death, sacrifice. Looks like we have... Favors of the First Enchanter, Primeval Red Lyrium, Memories of the Grey. I think just for this last part, I'm going to pull Blackwall out. Just for this last part. Because um, I just feel like it's fitting for him to be here. Let's rest up first. And then we can change our party. Cole. Sarah. Blackwall. Let's make sure that Blackwall is well equipped. Mercenary Hatchet. Commander. Templar Commander Shield. That's good. Oh, yeah, what is accessories do you have, Blackwall? He has the Belt of Healing. I feel like I can give you something better than that. Accessories. Belt of Bleeding, Belt of Healing, Belt of Health, Potion Belt. Let's give me the Belt of Bleeding. Okay. Bleed of Hit. You probably need to level up too, my friend. Yeah, one point to spend. If I don't all of your... Yeah, for the most part... Challenge. Your powerful shout carries across the battlefield, taunting a targeted enemy and proving your guard. Um, war cry. You taunt all nearby enemies with a shouted challenge, gaining extra guard for each enemy effective. affected. Huh. Um, trust the steel. You know how to make the most of your equipment, gaining a bonus to armor when you have active guard. Charging bull. You slam into your enemies, increasing your guard and knocking them down as you break through their lines. Untouchable defense, they can't kill what they can't hit. You get a bonus to your maximum guard. Oh, wait a minute. This is Vanguard. This is not Champion. I want to go Champion route. Yes. I want Counter-Strike. You push yourself to the limit, gaining full guard and taunting all nearby enemies. 
While the ability is active, you automatically counter all melee attacks. Yes. I want that. Cool. Okay. Uh, on the champion trail. Nothing to report, sir. Thank you, my dear. Oh, there it is. Chantry Trail. Okay. On the Chantry Trails over there, and there's also Red Lyrium stuff over there. Probably in a cave is my guess, and not in the tops of mountains like I've been searching. Ooh, discovered sim. Yeah, there's Red Lyrium. Shimmerstone Mine. Who did all this? Grey Wardens. Yeah, it looks like we've got some special dialogue for Blackwall. So in a, fu in a future, in a future uh, playthrough, I'm going to make it a point to bring both uh, Blackwall and Dorian here. Landmark right there. There we go. The Shimmerstone Mine. The ground here trembles slightly underfoot. Hmm. I'm not really sure I want to know why. Venatory orders. Cassius, remind your hirelings to leave that Or, or Legion fop alone. With our red friends leaving the area, service expects more from the White Claw efforts. I'm not explain, explaining to him that you let those raider idiots kill our best chance at actually getting that high dragon in reach. Hmm. Ah. I hear the dragon. I'm hoping Friedrich hasn't baited it over here. Not really equipped to fight a dragon at this moment. Ooh, there's like bandits over there too. Alright, I guess we're, we're gonna attack him now. Cleansing rune inflicts bonus damage against red templars and dark spawn on each weapon strike. <sighs> and a masterwork vanguard mail. Oh my gosh. Black wall. Oh my gosh, that looks so awesome on him. <sighs> That's so cool. Uh, for now, I'll give it to him. I might end up giving it to Cassandra or the Iron Bull later, but for now, it looks awesome on him. The neat thing about how the the equipment works, so they did, so like I said, they brought back equipment, equipping your party members into Dragon Age to be a Dragon Age position, because a lot of people complained that it was not a feature in Dragon Age 2, and people were kicked off that they couldn't, you know, ooh, that's new, I think, our Amrita Vein series. People were ticked off that they couldn't, you know, dress up their companions, and so they made sure that you can... Uh, that the equipping your party came back here, but what they did was uh, each character, the same armor doesn't look exactly the same on each character because each character maintains a very unique look that is just their own, which I don't disagree with, and that was the main reason why they took away the um, equipping your characters was because they wanted to give each character a unique look. And I'll talk more about that after I go through all of this stuff. There we go. 
Ancient Warden Logbook. So close, we nearly reached him. Made it down to what looked like a dwarven taig where the song was actually audible, real and thrumming through the air, not just in our heads. It rattled through the lyrium pillars and shook the earth beneath our feet to its dreadful tempo. We lost 30 men in the last cave-in, and the warden commander is abandoning the mission. I tried to argue for one last push, but the rock is too unstable down there. We'll have to find another archdemon somewhere more solid. Huh. Uh, a lot of the developers didn't like how in Origins, um, if you slapped, like, a set of heavy armor on one character and another character, they pretty much looked exactly the same, especially if you put the helmet on. And I personally don't mind that. I don't think a lot, any of the players thought that was an issue, which is why a lot of people were ticked and were like, why are you trying to fix something that's not broken? Um, but I think that there is something to be said about the developers wanting to make sure that each character still maintained an identity by giving them a unique look. So if you slap on one armor on one character, um, it's going to look different on another character. Which is what I like. So this armor that I slapped on to um, Blackwall is going to look different on IB, and it's going to look different on Cassandra. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, I think this is where our journey here ends. Uh, I'm hoping the Grey Wardens didn't end up down there. Ooh, a book. Take the book. Favors of the first enchanter. Circle tomes, fine. Find a circle tome in the exalted flames. Okay. Oh. Just have a couple more left. Hunting patterns. High dragon hunting patterns. The high dragon hunting patterns are largely undocumented. Fred is interested in the location of any dead Gurn showing signs that that it was killed by a dragon. Oh no. We're gonna have to do all of these. And these memories are the gray are behind beyond this landmark thing. Alright, I think I'm gonna do the hunting patterns later. Especially since we're not planning on attacking this dragon anytime soon. Um because I, again, I do want to leave something, some things left undone here in the west approach so we can come back. Nazar's Pass. What am I looking for here? Oh, Chantry Trail. There we go. There's another Chantry Trail there, and a question mark here. Oh, it's another Astra whatever. Astrarium thingy. Dusty Top Fort. Oh boy, this is probably going to be a pain in the butt to get to, isn't it? I'm going to need a horse. <laughs> Well, while I'm here... Okay. The end must be near... The end of the trail must be near. But I need to get up to the Hysterium first, because we probably have more shards to look for. Ooh! That is an entire fort. Oh, gosh. All right. And Counter-Strike. Nice. I'm gonna use this. Nice. Auto-kill. That auto-kill is insane. Okay. Okay, I 
Paragons, Luster. Lots of Paragons, Luster here. Lester. Look. Um, one over there. Probably at the fort. Yep, figured as much. Three. Got it. Okay. Head for the fort. Just when I thought I was pretty much wrapping things up here, there's still more. I'm thinking I, I only will be doing one more video in the Western Approach before coming back. Oh my. There's the rift. Oh boy. Fort Should we look down. around? Oh my! Okay, that's tough. We're not gonna be able to get very far in there. You guys need protection. Keep away! Dispel. And disrupt. There we go. Round two is coming up. There we go. so far, I think. Intense Lightning Essence. And 20 Lazarite? Wow. I bet you what we're looking for is up at the top. Is this gonna be more... more... Oh. What the heck? Grey Warden Sword? Good find. Wow. Okay. Shards in the approach. There's still something else. Maybe up here? Just a hunch. Oh my gosh. Grey Whiskey, Right Wine from Scripture Ale, a bottle marked Vintage, Warden Jaren, sm Smash When Dead. Alright. And the shard's up here somewhere. You can hear it humming. You can hear it singing its song of chaos. Here it is. Ooh, wow, and ballistas. And even chopper. Okay, this is a good place for us to stop, everybody. Tune in next time, and until then, love yourselves and love each other.